Hello everybody, this is a uh, magnetic engineering project I've been working on lately. It is a laser cut array of very strong magnets, some permanent, some uh, electromagnetic or solenoidal. And um, what we see here is a power connector and four color labeled uh, pairs of wires spreading out from it going to the four different coils. Uh, they're about 1,200 turns each, and they're 22 gauge wires. So they can take quite a bit of current without overheating, um, which is good because that means I can make quite a strong electromagnetic field. Uh, anyway, um, what I'm making this video for is that uh, I've recently uh, been asking questions about the shape of the field, and it's great to feel that with a magnet in your hand, and that's probably the first way to feel magnetic fields, but um, the direction is uh, almost more important than the strength and uh, while my hand can sense the tug on the magnet, it's a, a lot more sensitive thing to ask uh, what is the, the twist on the magnet. Um, and so um, I made something that can separate the twist from the tug, and it's uh, right here. It's a uh, gimbal, and it's a laser-cut array of uh, joints with a small permanent magnet inside, and it's like a compass that points in three dimensions. So that thing can twist that way or that way. And so I hold it up here, and I resist the forces on it by the strength of my hand, but it's free to spin in any direction. And, uh, and there it spins. So now I'll put the focus back on the, on the thing that I was studying and asking these questions of, and I'll show you what this looks like. This is a cylinder, it's a little bit hard to see from there, but it's a cylinder that's got its axis now pretty much vertical. And as I move it over towards the side, it's tracing out the field which uh, is issuing from the poles of these, from, from the, the largest area faces of these uh, flat disk magnets. And uh, it's telling us that the field is circulating out of the space and around it. And into the right side. But what I'd like to ask are um, how does this field uh, shape change under the influence of uh, my control system so that I can start looking at things like the stability of it and whatnot? And, uh, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's that. This is. Uh, oh, and here we go. It's, uh, so if I pull the axis of rotation of this, if I hold the, the pivots of this, like so, you can see the field has a bit of a... And it's not completely symmetrical, uh, or radially symmetrical, or rotationally symmetrical because it is uh, a, a disk comprised of discrete, separate magnets. But, um, but to an approximation, it is uh, really symmetrical. So that's why this thing is the, 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 the needle magnet it is uh, always pointing inwards as I was doing this around the perimeter. And that general shape basically like a donut. The field that this is indicating is um, a toroidal field. And, uh, and then these four electromagnets in the center are actually uh, passive right now, but um, I'll look forward to posting more of these videos as I experiment with different control strategies um, there for uh, location. Yeah. That's all for now. Cheers.